What's up, Otaku fam? We are the Otaku Couple back with more reactions here for the channel with more Kurt Ritchie, Why the Cops Crashed My Giant YouTube Party. This is part oh, two is part to the, the YouTube thing. Party story that we started. I don't did know how long ago know? it's been. We did get some, you know, some comments requested if we were ever going to finish that. Yes. We didn't forget. You you forgot, Baka. Okay, we're back. So be sure to let us know if you want more Kurt Ritchie here on the channel down below in the totally anonymous comments section. Be sure to comment, like, subscribe, because every little bit does help. And if you want to support the channel monetarily, we do have a Patreon. You we react to TV shows, me. animes, and movies completely uncut. Currently reacting to Wednesday over there. It's a great time. So if that interests you, come on by. We'd love to have you. Let's hop on in and let's see where this story goes. Just admit you forgot. No. Baka. <laughs> so it's loud. People are outside. We've pretty much broken all the rules. And I'm gone. And according to Ivan's text, the cops are on say. their way. So, yeah. We're kind of fucked. <laughs> now, if you don't know what I'm talking about, this video is a part two to a video I did last month. It's supposed to be last week. Now it's last month. Don't worry about it. I ruined a giant YouTuber party. <laughs> Yay. And trust me, to understand what we're going to get into, you need to watch part two. So go ahead, click the I in the top right to check it out. Please do that. Check out our reaction to the watch first time, part. But, but be sure to come back, please. Anyways, uh, here's a quick recap for everyone who did watch it when it dropped and don't want to rewatch a whole 20 minute video. All right, so me and my boy Frugocetic, along with some others, decided to throw a party at our Airbnb during VidCon. Uh, trouble is, um, that's illegal, which we knew from doing the previous year, and which we didn't care about from us being awful people. So to make sure we didn't get kicked out like we almost did last time, we set a couple ground rules for the party. Uh, one, right. we can't have too many people in the house. Two, right. we can't let people outside. And three, <laughs> I need to be around to make sure things were all right in case the cops did come, because right. the house is in my name. And we don't need right. the cops snitching on us to the house owners and getting us kicked out. So... Yeah, I'm not down for that. Now, during said party, uh, I blacked out and didn't remember a single thing and ended up waking yeah. up to a text from my friend Ivan that said the cops had been called that night. Why they came? Uh, no idea. Were we getting kicked out? No idea. Thankfully, Vivi collected testimonies of everyone's experience at the party <laughs> to figure out what went wrong that night. And apparently, everything did. Not only was the party just wild, but there were too many people, people outside, including me. For some reason, when I said the rule was to not go outside, it was my rule. <laughs> Panic attack. <laughs> and at the very last moment, my black ass disappeared. A very confident bunch we are. So we're finally here with the second half of the yep. tape. So let's see what happened. Yep. Lay it on me. The cops were on their way. Love to hear it. For me, everything starts getting fuzzy and blurry. I don't remember exactly what happens. I see that the situation is way out of hand. People are like, hey, Christian, um, uh, someone's outside. I'm like, okay, well, maybe it's the pizza guy. I don't f ah! know. I go outside. It's the Anaheim City Neighborhood Watch people. They pull up to the house and go, hey, we got a noise complaint from the city. You guys are being a bit rowdy. So city. I'm like, okay, cool. I'll, I'm going to sober up now so I can handle this. And I'm going to go find Kurt so that we can handle it together as a team. As the night keeps going to about 1130, I don't hear Kurt anymore, so I wonder where he is. So right. me as the only sober one, search for him. Six foot tall black man in a sea of, of, of animators. I'm like, I'm bound to find Michael Jordan in a sea of golf players. It's, it's, it's gonna happen. <laughs> and eventually, I found him. Kurt's blacked out in his bedroom. So uh, how do you put it? Schlumped. Dude is like a piece of fish <laughs> over rice. All right, pause real quick. So there's a lot of footage from the party, like IRL footage, which I've been hesitant to share because, you know, privacy. I want to, like, keep everyone's, like, personal information private. Except mine. I don't care about my privacy. So I was definitely out of it, and there's plenty of video evidence. Yo, Kurt is gone. Kurt, where are you, man? Kurt, do you know you are? <laughs> Yeah, no, not my, my that's man the face is you slow. make. That's the face you make. Yeah. When you Oh yeah. Yeah. When it's time to get that level of drunkness, that's just where that's the it's, point it's you need to get that, to. It's that little grin. Yeah. It's like hmm. I also get like that when I'm sleep deprived, but yes. we don't talk about that. My best moment. Uh, anyways, continuing with the tape. I decided to leave him alone and try to keep everyone away from Kurt. Oh man, I gotta handle this by myself. He's so drunk. He's passed out. I don't know where his phone is. I don't know where his wallet is. 
I'm like, someone take care of our mans. I'm gonna try and get everyone out because we're being fucking loud. We try to get everyone to quiet down, which they do, and we try to get everyone out. So while everyone is figuring out which groups they're going home in, they all step outside the house. Which is the worst. It's worse now. Everyone's on the lawn. <laughs> if we had a noise complaint in the house, imagine how loud we were outside. Now, I didn't realize that simply calling an Uber takes 15 minutes. No, I don't mean waiting for it to arrive. I mean pressing the button to have the Uber pick you up. Just press the button. It's cool though. I think the noise is the noise level was at a reasonable level. I was wrong. It was fine. It's basic math. Everyone talking at room volume, that <laughs> adds up. And obviously the neighbors are going <laughs> to hear that. So as everyone's leaving, it's the Anaheim City Neighborhood Watch and the police. So I was just as drunk as everyone. You know, I'm fucking hammered too. I had, I'm a couple drinks in. I'm riled up. And the police come and I'm like, yeah, man, we're... We're just a bunch of YouTubers here. We're, a lot of us are from out of state. Some of us are international. We're here for VidCon. A lot of people over here don't really get to see each other. So it's really nice getting to see your community in person. You know what I mean? And you know, I think I played it off pretty well. I was uh, talking to the cop and he seemed <laughs> like a nice- You know, you know, that had to sound hey, like hey, some man. drunk ass- L like, Listen, bro. I, we're just chilling, man. Yeah. Come, because, come on, bro. Because you Why? know- why you, you know how it is when you why are had you so that mad? much to do <laughs> and you were love bombing the shit out of the people. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's how it sounded to police. Yeah. They probably thought nice guy. He, he, I think he thought I was, I was a nice talking. guy. Joke's on oh, you. I'm just I'm kidding. Sorry. I don't need it anymore. What were you saying? I'm done. I'm depressed. <laughs> so he was like, cool son, just make sure you get everyone home safe and uh, make sure you're not making too much noise because the neighbor's complaining. I'm like, thanks, man. Yeah, we're getting everyone home and calling everyone Ubers. That's why we're out here and it's taking a long time because it's kind of late. And I do apologize for being a bit loud. He's like, okay, cool, thanks. Um, over, bye, I'm gonna get some donuts or whatever fucking cops do at 2 a.m. Eventually, everyone leaves after wow. 30 <laughs> minutes of just being outside. Now, it's around 1.32 a.m. And as the last person is getting in the car and as I'm up, about to close the front door of the house. I hear fucking footsteps on the grass. I don't know if you can hear that. I hear footsteps on the grass. <laughs> I see two people walking up to me. It's just two like old people. Two lovely old people, by the way. I don't know oh. who these people are, but then again, I really didn't know anyone in this party. And they immediately asked me, are you Kurt? In my head, uh oh. I answer no, and then they ask, can you get Kurt? We are the owners of this house. Oh, fuck. The owner has joined the chat. In my the head, the owner has I'm joined like, the chat. Okay, that's fine. He's slow. He's slow. It's like playing Smash and three stocks. You got the Anaheim City Police, <laughs> the Anaheim City Neighborhood Watch, you got the police, and you got the owners. It's a big three stocks. I'm over here, fuck <laughs> ice climbers. I've lost my Nana. He's drunk. <laughs> I'm fucking one stock with one ice climber, dog. That recovery ain't shit. I respond by saying he's asleep. They persist and I let them in the house. Apparently, the police had called them three times, but because it was the middle of the night, they didn't check who the number was and they declined the call. So when they finally picked up the call, they were frazzled. Next thing I see is Christian talking to the owner. Christian does a pretty good job at diverting their attention. Hey, so I'm Kurt. You know, here's me pretending to be Kurt. I'm not black. I'm not six feet. I can't jump that high, but whatever. We're <laughs> I Kurt can't Ritchie jump now. that Meanwhile, high. I slip away and me and Andres try to get Kurt up. And man, did we try. He's got the spirit of alcohol in his system. and he's, There's no way he's conscious. I specifically remember me saying, Kurt, the owners are here. His response, a wave of the hand with his eyes still closed. Kurt, the cops are here. Another wave. Kurt, we're going to jail. Another wave. Now, I don't know about you, but I thought we're screwed. I go back out and it seems like Christian has actually handled it all. I'm sorry for making all the noise. We're getting everything cleaned up now. As everyone was, good job on the f team. Good job animators on cleaning with me. So everyone's <laughs> cleaning. They're like, cool. Thank you so much, Kurt. I just need to see your ID. And, well, yeah, so I'm not actually Kurt. <laughs> so, I think it was MJ <laughs> No! Bro, the plan just immediately in the dumpster, bro. <laughs> because of the simple question. I need to see your ID. I've never used Airbnb, but don't they have to have some sort of identification? before you're in. Yeah. 
I'm pretty sure. <laughs> so they would have known immediately. Right. That's probably why they entertained it. Like, oh, okay, cool. Thanks. Right. Can I see your ID? Right. Who knows? Oh, jeez. That's foul. Go find Kurt to get his ID. And Kurt is just sprawled Remember earlier they on said his they couldn't bed. Find his we get wallet. into his theme, but he is not coherent at all. And we pick him up marionette style. And we're just dangling him across the hallway. We come to a point where Christian can see him but the owner can't see that angle. Christian takes one look at passed out, like half a smile Kurt, and he's like motions. He's like, oh sh no, like get him the f out of here. So Andre's not decide it's better to keep him in the room versus letting the owner see him like this. And Why? I'm drunk, MJ. Here, here's my thing, like I get that the situation, they got called by the cops, I get it. But it's still under his name and y'all are just staying there with him. It doesn't matter. Yeah. It's just, the there he is. is now, the fact that you still can't, if you can't find his ID, that's one thing. You'd be like, here's his ID. You see, it's him. He clearly can't talk to you right now. I'm the coherent one. I'm telling you we're getting things handled. That should have been enough to solve the problem. Yeah. I mean, they could have been dicks about it, but it's like, okay, what? what's the difference if I talk to you versus if he talks to you? He's out. It's late at night. He's. It, we were partying. You just saw people leaving. I mean, like. You, you, sorry. you can put two and two together. Right, like, sorry, yeah. And I get that they said there was no party supposed to happen there, but it's like, yeah, we had a small get-together because we're here, the three, it was the four of us or whoever people are left. He had a little too much to drink. He's not here right now. Like, he is not mentally here to talk to you. I'm sorry. It's like... He, he sobers out. So he, he, he was guiding me through the whole process, but I mean, I'm like, oh, not, not a good idea. Time to take Kurt back. But then Kurt decides that I want to pee and starts walking out the door. He walks two steps out the door, and if the owners just look left, they'll see a stumbling, mumbling, Hey, Kurt. So I run out, just grab him and toss him to the bed without the odors noticing a single thing. Okay, that sounds worse than what it was. I was just trying to protect them, okay? All right, chill, forget about that. Andres watches over Kurt while I go out. Christian somehow finessed all of this and had them just take Kurt's ID, not mine or anyone else's. But I did give them that one Australian dude's passport. So whoever is from that dude from Melbourne, and they have your <laughs> have your passport on file. We reassured them that <laughs> everything would be fine. They left. We sighed in relief. And next thing I remember is the house is empty ex except for like the few passed out stragglers. That was the main thing. We got out of it scot free. No one went to jail. No one died. No one <laughs> died. We're cool. Yeah, we weren't cool. So that was the whole tape. Now cut back to me learning all this. And I'm well. Maybe let's just say a lot more sweaty than anyone should be after waking up in someone else's house. Y'all, like, there's a ton of things that could be happening to us now that all that just went down. And I wasn't sure what our fate was. And I was especially scared that we get kicked out. I go through my phone notifications and then boom, there it is. A new notification that kind of sticks out from the rest. A notification on the Airbnb. App. And guess what? Uh, it's a message from the owners of the house. Who, who who thought? Bro, I opened that message like it was results from the clinic. Because that's what this was. Are we HIV positive or is it just like crabs? What, what's going on? So open it up. And man, let me tell you. Our fate makes me think. I really wish they said we were just homeless. But you're going to have to find out exactly Bruh. what that fate was next time. Look, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I had no, to. Not. Okay, this you're is a not. whole other arc. It just did not phonetically fit. So catch y'all sure soon. Sure you did. Sure it what does. Happens to us. That's and bullshit. Trust me, it wasn't pleasant. So great content. Oh, be, what's up, yo? Sir. I mean, it's got to be like fines or something. Then, because yeah. he he said I would have rather that just made us homeless, which means they didn't kick you out. So they, they just made you pay for shit. You had to have been something financial. Yeah. At that point, I mean, because what else could they legally yeah. hold you accountable for? Otherwise, yeah. it's like I don't yeah, know. Like if you weren't arrested. Oh God. No. That was funny though. Man's is slumped. <laughs> <laughs> the little grid. Hell yeah. That gives me so much anxiety. What? The whole situation? Yeah. 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 Loud people also give me anxiety. So right. Just having a situation in a house that isn't mine, that I'm paying for. Right. That my fate could easily be messed up.
Right. In a place that we're not familiar with. Correct. Would give me so much anxiety. Right. Be like, all right, guys, we're going to we're going to go to a bar and then I'll see y'all tomorrow. Very nice. <clears throat> Thank you guys for the continued support. And you got a bunch support. of loud animators. How many, That's a bunch of children. How many parts are there to this to this to this god dang story? I guess we it's will. A cliffhanger, baby. We'll, I guess we'll do the next one too, because I'm not gonna forget. So we will get to the next version. But if there's any other Kurt Ritchie videos you guys want us to react to, let us know down play. below in the comments. So remember, let us know what you thought of the story so far. Right. Have you had any weird Airbnb experiences? We don't use Airbnb. Just, just we don't travel that much, so we'll get there, baby. All I do is work. <laughs> Same. <laughs> Thank you guys for the continued support. We will see you for the next video. Bye. Bye.